back. Today's video, we're taking the purple truck here to one of our favorite local places with a lot of great hot rods. You're gonna see a couple hot rod builds, an update on another one as well, but we're gonna get some work done to the truck today, so stay tuned for today's video. In the meantime, please subscribe to our channel. Also check out our website at opposingcylinders.com. There you'll find lots of great hot rods, trucks, other vehicles for sale, as well as shop some opposing cylinders gear. So let's get into today's video. Jerry Sanders shop not too far away from us but uh, time to get the truck inside check out some hot rods let's go inside take a look see what he's got going on now let's take a look at some awesome hot rods uh, you may have recognized this one it now has the hood on here this 34 Chevy coupe is beautiful so Jerry Sanders painted this in-house this one is hopefully going to debut in Columbus here in the coming week. So if you're in Columbus, you may have already seen this car by the time the video comes out. Um, but this car is really awesome. It's just really getting the interior finished up at this point. So let's take a quicker look around this car. So a lot of one-off details, a lot of different machine parts. Uh, again, the little piece here in front of the fenders, that's all made. The uh, center caps are all machined and made. Uh, Jerry picked out the color for the wheels. The uh, running board covers are all one-off pieces. Even just the little vent covers inside for the defrost. But interior again is getting finished up. Um, the rear tail lights were all made. So this one is called Chocolate Milk. It's a beautiful car. And uh, let's show you underneath this car real quick. So it's all dark chocolate underneath. Make sure you see one of our previous YouTube videos for this car when it was uh, kind of getting put together without the hood. Uh, the engine's all detailed in here as well, but it looks even better with the hood on. And the gaps are all perfect. They actually made the uh, cow. So this is all made. This is all one-off working cow. Um, all the glass is all kind of flush in here. So just a lot of real cool details on this one. This one is owned by Ronnie James. Uh, out of Kentucky and then next to this car we have Ronnie's other car a 33 Ford this one was uh, kind of dialed in by VZ Brothers out in California they did a few touches to this car they added the wheels but it needed a few things done after Nashville when uh, a trailer uh, had a little blowout it got into it so just come in here uh, to get a few things touched up. But this one will also be in Columbus. So both cars owned by Ronnie James will be in Columbus uh, this year. So make sure that you see uh, both of these. But we're here with the purple truck to get uh, the purple truck. We're gonna actually get the splash apron or the underside actually get all uh, trimmed because it is so hammered <laughs> if we pull in and out of any place it just gets a little uh, worn out so jerry is trimming that for us today but in the meantime we figured we would give you just an update on the 34 chevy as well as see ronnie's 33 ford um but new surprises coming to jerry sanders shop here as well but uh, we hope you like these cars. We also have Cody with us today. So Cody is checking out the hot rods So uh, with me. So Cody, do you have a favorite? Probably this one. This one? What makes it your favorite? I like the color. You like the color? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Now, we always talk about, Cody, what do you want your first vehicle to be? Because you're not that far away from getting your license. So do you have a, yeah. a preference on what you would like? Not really. Not really? Would it be a hot rod, a truck? A roadster would be cool, but a not roadster. for a first car. Not for, that'd be kind of difficult to drive to school each day, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you remember uh, a few years ago during 2020, we had the Cody and Kevin show uh, during our online car show. So Cody's a little bit taller now than he was uh, two years ago. <laughs> He's getting grown up. So you'll see we have the, the truck up on blocks. Jerry has kind of taped off the, the bottom here. And just to show you how much we're actually gonna trim off the bottom because it uh, just rubs a lot when it's down on the ground. So this is the before shot where it's all, all ready to be trimming. And we'll show you an after shot here as well of the truck once this uh, gets trimmed off a little bit. So Jerry just has it probably three quarters of an inch where we're gonna take it off so nothing too crazy. If we need to take off more uh, down the road, we can always do so. Well, the best part of today is spending time with Cody. I know he probably doesn't like being on camera as much as he used to, but uh, but the father-son thing is my favorite uh, part of the day. The hot rods, the trucks, and everything are cool, but riding along with Cody. Cody, you want to show yourself? <laughs> yeah. This is honestly the best, the best part of it all. Um, it's just a time that we get to spend together and I'm trying to get Cody and comment below I'm trying to get Cody on camera more like we used to do and him to hang out with us uh, maybe Luke to hang out with us a little bit more and we'll try to do more videos but uh, comment below if you'd like to see the boys and, and Cody uh, on camera a little bit more so Cody what do you think cool cool would you like yeah. to do that yeah i think so and then what'll be cool what we need to do here soon is get luke driving the roadster and his first time because he just got his license recently so first time driving the roadster so we'll get that but uh we'll get these boys in these hot rods and try to carry on a tradition here but um, but thanks cody for joining me today well, part two in today's video is we're back in the garage. We got the purple truck all dialed in. Thanks again to Jerry. But now we transition to the red OBS truck. This is a 94 Chevy Silverado. And we are getting it all buffed and ready for good guys Des Moines. So let's take a quick look at the car or at the truck. And we've done two stages on it so far. We've kind of buffed uh, with more of a compound, a little bit of a heavier cut, and then we've gone to a polish. So we're gonna finish polishing the rest of the truck and then get into uh, kind of a final polish and a final wax. But it's really getting slick now. We have all three OBS trucks inside. Uh, of course the purple, that one is a keeper. And then uh, we have the black 454 SS up top. And let's show you maybe a little bit under. We just trimmed. So underneath that, um, underneath the bumper, that has been trimmed about three quarters of an inch uh, on here as well. And then of course, just sneak peek, Roadster is up top. But today we're going to focus on the red truck and just get it even more slick. It really looks good outside, so we'll show this outside. And this is gonna be our driver to uh, Des Moines here in a few weeks, the Speed and Design. He's gonna be in his F100, and we're gonna be in the red one. So uh, let's get this buffed, and we'll show you the end product outside. Well, it's been a full day of 
truck activity. So we do have the purple one. We're gonna show you kind of the uh, little splash apron underneath as well as the red truck. It is now fully detailed, buffed, and it is super slick. So let's take a quick look at the trucks. Uh, again, thanks to Jerry Sanders for uh, trimming the uh, underneath of this so we have more clearance underneath the purple truck. So it is all ready to go. Uh, have a little bit more clearance and not going to scrape as much. And then the red truck is fully detailed, buffed, serviced, AC charged, and I'm very pleased. So um, the paint on it is really slick now and ready to go for uh, Des Moines. So let's do a quick walk around of the truck. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Opposing Cylinders. We hope you enjoyed the content today, seeing some of the hot rods, Jerry Sanders. Thanks again to Jerry for hooking us up and working on the purple truck. Thanks to Attention Every Detail for giving us some supplies for the red truck. We got it all buffed and detailed. One more look at the red truck, but please, again, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, check out our website at opposingcylinders.com. We have a lot of great vehicles for sale, shop gear, and if you wanna share your ride, join us as a member to share your hot rod or your loved car, and we'll post it on our page there as well. But until the next time, We'll see you soon. We'll see you in Good Guys Des Moines as well as Good Guys Columbus. We'll be with a group of hot rods there. We're going to show you several great videos coming up in the next few weeks. Cody, talk to us, Cody. What would you like to talk about? What would you like to talk about? How grown up you are.